Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. Today is Wednesday, January 17th, and it's cold here in Cincinnati, Ohio. It is, uh, it's like 26 right now. I think the wind chill took it down to maybe, I don't know, 10. It's pretty damn cold. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good Wednesday. You're staying warm. But, uh, I'm going to ch uh, share this article about the two missing Marines. So let's get to it. Two missing SEALs. I meant, I said Marines, but it's two missing SEALs on a mission that seized Iranian missile parts headed for Caucasus. Says the two U.S. Uh, two US Navy SEALs missing in the Gulf of Aden off of Somalia were on a mission to board a Dahal that led to the seizure of Iranian made ballistic and cruise missile components headed to Hathi militias in Yemen, according to U.S. Central Command. The risky nighttime <clears throat> mission last Thursday to board the Dahal in rough waters continued even after one of the seals fell into the water and the second seal following protocol jumped into water to rescue his teammate search and res rescue operations for the two missing seals are continuing in the gulf of aden with u.s navy aircraft and ships participating in the search that boat looks so weird for years, the U.S. Navy has intercepted the house, the name for small fishing or cargo vessels used in the region, believed to be carrying Iranian-made weapons to office. During these missions, boarding teams typically pull aside the Dahals to undertake a flag verification mission if the Dahal is unflagged or has replaced its flag to mask their smuggling missions. The latest seizure was the first since the Houthis began to carry out the more than 30 drone and missile attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea, most of which has been repelled by U.S., French, and British warships. On Thursday, January the 11th, Navy forces conducted a nighttime seizure of a Dahal conducting illegal transport of advanced lethal aid from Iran to resupply Hafi forces in Yemen as part of the Hafi's ongoing campaign to attack <clears throat> of attacks against international merchant shipping, said a CETCOM statement. That's a weird looking bomb, if that's what that is. I don't know. I mean, that's just weird looking. The SEALs were operating from the Expeditionary Sea Base, USS Lewis B. Polar, a converted <clears throat> freighter topped with landing decks for helicopters and uh, capable of releasing small watercraft used by SEALs when they approached the Dahal. With helicopters and drones flying overhead, they executed a complex boarding of the Dahal near the coast of Somalia in international waters of the Arabian uh, Sea, seizing Iranian-made ballistic missile and cruise missile components. They included components for propulsion, guidance, and warheads for the Hathi medium-range ballistic missiles and anti-ship cruise missiles, as well as air defense associated components. Initial analysis indicated <clears throat> these same weapons had been employed by the Hathis to threaten and attack innocent mariners on international merchant ships transiting in the Red Sea. And <clears throat> you can see here, these are the, the uh, propulsion. I'm guessing. I've never made a bomb before. The propulsion, probably part of the propulsion. 
And here's your outer casing. This is where I would say this part is part of this, I'm guessing. The seizure marked the first time since November 2019 that the U.S. Navy has seized Iranian-made ballistic missile and cruise missile components headed for the office. Nighttime shipboardings by boat carried out in pitch black are some of the most difficult missions that a SEAL can undertake and require constant training according, according to a retired SEAL commander. You have the risk of your boat capsizing in close proximity to larger vessels. You have to establish a solid ladder point. You have to climb a ladder at night over the open ocean between two ships. They're smashing into each other and then get on board, said Eric. I'm not even going to try his last name. An ABC News contributor. And then you're... <clears throat> And then your problem starts with what you're going to do, uh, what you're going to do it with whomever is on board that boat, he added. Uh, I have no idea what this picture is supposed to be. I guess says guys like Ulrich said the risk to SEALs undertaking these missions in the Gulf of Aden and the Somalia Basin increases during this time of year when the ocean waves are especially high. In the wintertime, the sea state is typically 8 to 12 feet, said Ulrich. The horizon is flat, so 8 to 12 feet is uh, 8 feet above the flat horizon, and then 8 feet, it's like a 16-foot wave. The 14 Mariners aboard the Dahau were taken off the vessel and are in U.S. custody <clears throat> through their future status remains to be determined. After they were taken off the Dahau, the vessel was deemed unsafe and sunk by U.S. naval forces. It is clear that <clears throat> Iran continues a shipment of advanced lethal aid to the Hafiz. This is yet another example of how Iran actively sows instability throughout the region in direct violation of UN security, Resolution 2216, and the international law, said CETCOM Commander General Michael Eric Kula. We will continue to work with regional and international partners to expose and interdict these efforts and ultimately to reestablish freedom of navigation, he added. So there you go. Um, for those two Navy SEALs, my heart goes out to them and the families. Um, if, they, if they were found and, and res rescued, that, that would be awesome, but my gut... My gut tells me something different. So uh, it was last Thursday when this happened, and they haven't said anything since. So anyway, that, that, that sucks. That's all I can say. It sucks. So I wanted to share this. Uh, like I said, this actually happened last Thursday. I've been kind of watching it. And uh, from the articles I've seen, nothing's changed. So, but anyway, this is Wolf Fang. Have a great Wednesday evening. Stay warm. Blessed be and stay safe. And I will chat with you all later. Bye.